Welcome back, Puzz Collectors. Today's video is going to be all about what's inside this giant box, and it's full of Funko Pop Puzz, and there's a lot of them in here, so we better get started. <laughs> Did you happen to see Tuesday's video where I went to the post office to pick this up with my dog Clover? <laughs> I'm trying out some different vlog styles to add to the channel. So go back and watch that video if you haven't already and let me know what you think about it. It's a little different than me just sitting here and opening boxes or, you know, sharing pez with you. Which I had a lot of fun making, so hopefully you enjoyed it as well. <laughs> Ooh, gosh. <laughs> this might take me longer than I think to unbox these. Look inside here! <laughs> They're all like individually wrapped. Or at least in like small boxes. Oh gosh. Okay, well there's six of these. <laughs> I'll just get them out and then we'll go from there. Now if you are new to the channel, I am trying to get all the Funko Pop Pez that exist because when they first were released, I missed out on a lot of them because a lot of them would sell out really fast or they'd be at different stores and I'd never go to the store to find them. I missed out on a lot of them, so I'm trying to go back and, you know, fill in the holes in my collection that I need. <laughs> so somebody had these for sale and I had to go look through like all the ones I had and, you know, go through all the ones he had and to see what ones I needed and I found enough, I think. <laughs> I think there were a couple more that I didn't have that he had. So maybe I'll go back and buy those later, but for now, I think this is plenty. <laughs> oh my gosh. These boxes are kind of cool. They do say what's inside of them, but this isn't what's inside of them. It's just a Funko Pop Pez box. So it looks like they're sealed again. Oh my gosh. Are they sealed again? Okay, good. Whew. Okay, cool. So they're all in there. There's six of them in this box. This was on top. Oh gosh, Let's see what ones to start with even? I'm just gonna grab one here and start with that. Oh, this one is so cute. There you go, there's a Dumbo Funko Pop Pez. Oh, and a Dumbo Clown. Check that one out. So I think these are both of them in this series. And then, oh. <laughs> The next four are from The Nightmare Before Christmas. There you go, there's Vampire Teddy. There's Jack Skellington. I was surprised I didn't even have Jack in my collection. This one's Shock. I love the mask on that. I guess it's a mask. I've seen this movie, but it's been so long that I don't really remember. <laughs> this one just looks creepy like a Halloween character. There's one more. Oh, <laughs> this one. I was looking forward to this one. This one's so cute. <laughs> This one's Dapper Jack. See how it has the little top hat on it there? <laughs> it's so cool. So one box is empty. There's five more here to open. Six more in here. <laughs> there you go. It's a Rock'em Sock'em robot. That one's cool. There's like a whole series with vintage games. And there's like a Monopoly one as well, which is really neat. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> This is the Jim Halpert one from The Office. It's the Facebook version of them. I'm still missing two of the Office characters. I think uh, Michael and Dwight, I don't have those. The next four are from My Hero Academia. This is Shoto Todoroki. <laughs> I like this. I like this character. It reminds me of Zuko from Avatar. <laughs> next up is Izuku Midoriya. He's the main character if I'm remembering right. And then we have All For One. And then there's one more. Oh yeah, I like this one. <laughs> and then there's All Might. What a great character as well. <laughs> I watch a lot of anime. I don't really talk about it here on the channel a lot, but usually when I watch something in the evening, it's at least one anime show, if not a couple. <laughs> oh, so I'm running out of room. It's like six more. Next up from the Marvel series is Logan, aka Wolverine. <laughs> awesome. I was surprised I didn't have this one. Oh, this one's pretty cool. <laughs> I love the color on this one. Next up is Tron. And there is another one in the Tron series, but he didn't have it anymore, so I just got Tron. <laughs> this one scares me. <laughs> 
there you go. It's the Joker. And this is the Suicide Squad Joker. It's the Jared Leto Joker. In case you like the movies. It's pretty scary. <laughs> Onto a cute one. <laughs> this one's Wally Gator. Super cute. Like a little alligator with a hat. This is one from the Hanna-Barbera series in case you're like, who's Wally Gator? Because I'm not even sure who that is either, but I know Hanna-Barbera characters and this one must have been a popular one back in the day. <laughs> oh yeah. Here you go, it's a gremlin. And I don't have Gizmo yet and he didn't have it for sale, but I got this gremlin. This is creepy. <laughs> I went back and watched the Gremlins movie a couple years ago and it's pretty scary and I used to watch that as a kid and I was surprised that I used to watch it as a kid because it's pretty scary. <laughs> oh, okay, this is awesome. <laughs> it's the Yogi Bear Chase. The regular Yogi Bear Funko Pop Pez is green, like the green stem. I think a green hat and the Chase one here is red with a red hat, which is pretty nice. Seems like most of these I think I got today are non-Chase ones, but there might be a couple Chase ones in here. If you don't know what a chase is for a pop pez, like the stores or the websites or whatever you buy these from, they would get, you know, a limited amount of chase ones. It was pretty much the same pez dispenser, it's just a different color variation. I always say it's like a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> it's just the different colors on this one. Sometimes they glow in the dark, sometimes they're, you know, metallic or they sparkle or something like that. They'll call them chase. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I got that one. I meant to pick this one up at the Michigan Pez Convention, but I kept forgetting. There was just so much to look at there. <laughs> There's two more boxes after this one. Here we go. Here's Corella DeVille. I like that one. <laughs> I don't really care too much for the Disney villains. If there's a whole Disney villain series, but this one looks pretty neat. I like the black and white and she just looks creepy. <laughs> Check out this one. It's Hercules. You know from the Disney movie Hercules. I think there's another Hercules one in here and I already have the horse, which I can't think of the name right now, but I have the little white horse that is Hercules's horse. <laughs> This is another scary one. <laughs> Hades. This one's also from Hercules. Kind of cool. I like the all blue aspect of it. This one's here full of all the creepy ones like the Joker, Gremlin, Cruella de Vil, and this Hades. <laughs> oh, oh, another <laughs> another villain. This must be the villain box. Or I guess the last one too, so. This is Sleeping Beauty's villain, Maleficent. And she is creepy, but this one's kind of cool looking too. <laughs> I like the purples and the greens and the black on this. It's a nice color combination. Oh, <laughs> another villain. <laughs> Harley Quinn from DC Comics. So Harley Quinn goes with the Joker, but this is, I guess, the comic book version of Harley Quinn. I'm not really sure, but it's not the movie version of Harley Quinn. I know that. It's kind of cute, but it's also kind of creepy. <laughs> There's also some other Pez that I bought. I'll show you those last. I had room in that box, I guess, to add a couple more Funko Pop Pez. And I didn't really know what ones I still needed, so I just picked out some other pets that I actually needed. I'm gonna move these off to the side. Two more left. Six more in there. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and there we go. It's Buddy the Elf. <laughs> you know, from the Elf movie, it's Will Ferrell. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Next up is Cthulhu, and it's a BAM exclusive, which I think BAM is a bookstore. It says books, toys, tech, and more. We don't have a BAM here in town. I don't think. I don't think I've ever been to one actually. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. It says glows in the dark. I like this one. I like the green and the green. It's another spooky one though. Put it next to Buddy the Elf so it's not too spooky. <laughs> oh, this is cool. A firefighter. So this one goes in like the Pez Pals series. At the Michigan Pez Convention, I bought a policeman and a boy with cap. So I needed the firefighter. This one's really nice. The ice cream truck is going down the street. <laughs> this one's cool. I like the silver on it. Check this one out. It's the Iron Giant. Isn't that one nice? I love the silver like a lot. It almost looks metallic, but it's not. And the yellow eyes kind of just pop. I love this one. <laughs> this one's great. I like the detail on the beard and the hair. Check it out. It's Snowy Bigfoot. And in this same series, there's a regular Bigfoot, which I don't have either. He only had the snowy Bigfoot for sale. So, I guess it's something. There's one more here in the box. Oh yeah. So look at this one, I'll tell you about it. Next up I got Spyro. And you're gonna be like, oh Aaron, you just got that one. 
Well, the one I got from the Michigan Pest Convention was a GameStop exclusive. And its head is a metallic purple, and this one's just like a regular purple paint, which is still really nice. See how the paint is just like a regular purple paint? It doesn't have that like metallic look to it. I like that one. The metallic version of it, the GameStop exclusive, is probably one of my favorite Funko Pop Pez that I have. Okay, this box is empty. There's one more box, so I guess there's six more in here. Here we go, six more. <laughs> Oh, these are cool. I've been wanting this one for a long time. <laughs> Check it out. It's Marvin the Martian from Looney Tunes. And if you remember, there's a Marvin the Martian candy hander. I'll put a picture on the screen here. It's down in my display. But you push the button and then like Marvin the Martian's holding like a little thing that grabs the Pez out of the rocket ship. Which is really cool. <laughs> I like this one. What a great like color combination on it as well. <laughs> this one goes in the same series and there's one more in this little series as well. I guess the Looney Tunes series. This is Space Cadet. Isn't that one cute? <laughs> it's like a little pig dressed up. I don't know much about this Space Cadet character, but it has like a little antenna thing on top of its head. It almost looks like a Teletubby or something. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> oh, this one's super cool. I like this one. This is Duck Dodgers. I guess it's like a Daffy Duck. I don't know anything about Marvin the Martian or Space Cadet or Duck Dodgers. I do know a little bit about Marvin the Martian. I think that one might be the more popular one of these, but I don't know. This one's super cool. Also has a little antenna on top of its head. Marvin the Martian doesn't have the antenna. It has like that like Trojan warrior helmet look to it. There's three more. Oh yeah. Here we go. There's Coraline. This is from the movie Coraline and her eyes are buttons in the movies but her eyes are just regular eyeballs here like the Funko Pop eyes. This is nice. I love the blue and the yellow and she has like a little dragonfly clip in her hair. It's super cute. And the last one is Mumra from Thundercats. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. There's another one from Thundercats. I think this is the only Thundercats one I have so far, and I know there's at least one or two more in the series. Oh, and the Coraline one has a chase version that apparently is pretty hard to find. So I need to start looking for that one. <laughs> oh wait, there's another one in here. <laughs> wait there, oh! Oh, there we go! Here's the other Thundercats one. lion -O. <laughs> Love it! Another, like, 80s vintage cartoon that's kind of nostalgic. Along with like Voltron and G.I. Joe and you know all the good classic or He-Man, I guess the classic cartoons from the 80s. <laughs> I don't remember Thundercats like at all, but I remember and I know about it, so that's fun. So this is the last of the Funko Pop Pez to open, but I do have those three Pez here that I can also show you. So let me move these out of the way and we'll open those up and take a closer look. So there's three here, and these are pretty hard to find. I mean you can find them if you look, but I don't see these for sale very often. I think the fact that they are Pez International Pez. These are so cute. I'm surprised I didn't have these before. Oh my gosh, one of them has a moving part. Okay, okay. The Pez dispensers I want to show you are from Super Wings and it's a kids animated series. And this one here is Jet. Check out how cute that is. It's like a little airplane. You can see like little kids like loving these. <laughs> I love the simplicity of them and the colors. So cute. <laughs> and this one's name is Donnie and it's another little airplane as well. I don't know anything about super wings but the fact that they're cute. <laughs> and the next one is Dizzy and I think it's a little helicopter and the little blades up here rotate. It moves. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I love these. These have to be some of my favorite vehicle pest dispensers that I have in my collection. Maybe I need to look up Super Wings, but it looks like these are for kids, like a really young age. I like to watch cartoons and stuff, but it has to be like for older kids, not like the super preschool type of cartoons. <laughs> but these are so cute. So all of these Funko Pop Pez that I bought here, it added up to be $200 and then it was like $25 to ship all of this to me. But I thought that was a pretty good deal because it comes out to be like five or six dollars per Funko Pop Pez. 
And then like the Chase Yogi Bear, I think that one was 20. So that one was a little bit more. Oh, and the Super Wing set was $13 and that was a part of the $200 that I spent. So not too bad. I mean, $200 is a lot to buy pest dispensers, but when you're looking to add like all these Funko Pop pests to your collection and you don't want to spend five or six or more dollars per shipping, and plus all these that I got are super minty <laughs> and they look like they just came right out of the box from, you know, Funko and then they were never even touched by anybody but, you know, the person that was packaging them. They're really nice and they're super minty. Sometimes on eBay I'll buy Funko Pop Pez and like the front plastic will be kind of scratched up because you know you, people put them in boxes or you know slide something up next to it and I think that these scratch really easy. That's why you see a lot of people put these Funko Pop Pez or their Funko Pops in general in like plastic containers that protect the boxes because I think these boxes you know they're not super durable but these are all like really minty and I'm really happy with this purchase. <laughs> Now I need to keep looking and seeing what ones I can find to add to these because there still are a lot that I don't have. I think there's over 300 Funko Pop Pez that exist and some of them are going to be really hard to get because they're like in the thousands of dollars for just one because they're like super rare. But there are a lot that are just, you know, five or six bucks or ten dollars that are easily, you know, obtainable. Funko Pop Pez are first released. They usually retail for around five to six dollars, like five ninety nine, six dollars at the stores or on websites. Or they could be a little bit more or a little less depending on like where you buy them or what ones they are because some of them could cost more. Some of them come in like blind boxes even that you had to buy like a larger box of like pop items or Funko items as well in order to get them or you had to buy like a box full of like socks and stuff. That was the Winnie the Pooh set. <laughs> so I think you know five to six dollars each for these and then the twenty dollars for the chase wasn't too bad and I'm really glad I was able to add these to my pest collection. So now I just need to go out and you know find all the ones I'm still missing. But I do use the Funko Pop app on my phone and if you're not familiar Funko has an app and it's just called Funko and you can go download it on your phone. So you can make a wish list, you can do a my collection, or you can just look through the Funko category, or you can make your own list of what you want to, you know, categorize, which is really cool. I have in here that I have 250 Funko Pop Pez, including just a couple of the Funko Pops that are Pez, like the Pez Girl or the Peter Pez ones. And I added to my wish list a whole bunch that I still needed. And I put 93 items in here, but I don't think that's all of them that exist. So I need to go look through these and look through some other lists and, and make sure that I have all the ones I don't have in here. Because there's still quite a lot that I don't have and a lot of the more expensive ones I don't have. <laughs> well, this was really fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. It's not every day that I buy, you know, all these Funko Pop Pez. <laughs> so I thought this would make a really good unboxing video and share these with you. And hopefully you learn a little bit more about, you know, what Funko Pop Pez even exist. Or if you have all these in your collection already, you know, let me know in the comments below. Or if you're trying to buy more Funko Pop Pez, let me know as well. I'd love to continue the conversation down there. If you know of any other Pez collectors that would love to watch this video, you know, feel free to share it with them. I think that they might, you know, like the video. At least that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see more behind the scenes, I'm Erin Clicks Pez on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And I've been posting a lot on Instagram and TikTok lately, so go check out those at least for sure. If you're not subscribed to my channel, this channel is all about collecting Pez. I talk about new Pez releases, I talk about vintage Pez, you know, I do a lot of unboxings, and you know, I think you might learn a little bit more about Pez collecting from me. I've been collecting Pez for a long time. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it at that. And if you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf. Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from.